Hey future doctors, welcome back to another video lesson from Rose Medical Lectures. For those who are new here, I am Tanya Rose Jacob. In the previous video, we discussed about the introduction, pathogenesis, clinical manifestation and laboratory diagnosis of pulmonary TB. Link of all those videos are given in the description box of this video. You can watch those videos and the slides based on this lecture and many medical flashcards and case discussions are available in my Instagram page. The link of my Instagram page is also given in the description box in this video we are gonna discussing about the diagnosis of extrapulmonary tb and latent tb first let's discuss about the extrapulmonary tb the extrapulmonary tb specimens are percy bacillary that is a very few bacilli will be present in the sample so here smear microscopy is less sensitive so the molecular methods are more useful in the diagnosis of extrapulmonary tb Specimens taken in case of extrapulmonary TB will be free from normal flora. Hence, the initial decontamination and concentration methods are not required here. On examination of pleural aspirate, in case of pleural tuberculosis, there will be elevated ADA or adenosine deaminase and interferon gamma levels. In case of renal tuberculosis, the urinary excretion of the bacilli is intermittent. Hence, 3 to 6 consecutive early mornings, urine samples are collected, centrifuged and sediment is used for processing. Acid alcohol is used as decolorizer. In case of tuberculous meningitis, the cerebrospinal fluid examination shows cobweb coagulum on standing and there will be elevated CS of pressure, raised to protein, chloride levels, but the glucose level is decreased. Typing of mycobacteria is useful for epidemiological studies. There are phenotypic and genotypic methods. Phenotypic methods include bacteriophage typing and the bacteriosin typing. And these are less popular as they poorly discriminate between the strains. Genotypic, genotypic methods are more commonly used than the phenotypic methods. Genotypic methods include the first one PCR RFLP, polymer chain reaction, restriction fragment length polymorphism, which is used to detect the variation in gene. Second one is polygotyping. It is based on detecting the polymorphism in DR or direct repeat locus of mycobacterium tuberculosis genome. It is more useful in strains having no or few copies of a particular gene. Third one is pulse field gel electrophoresis or PFGE. Fourth one is DNA sequencing. It is about the diagnosing of extrapulmonary TB. Next, let's discuss about the diagnosis of latent TB. Here, two methods are available for the diagnosis of latent TB. First one is the tuberculin test and the second one is interferon gamma release assay IGRA. Actually, it's diagnosed by demonstration of delayed or type 4 hypersensitivity reaction against the antigen of this bacteria. First, let's see what is the tuberculin test. The antigens using for the tuberculin test involve OT or old tuberculin antigen and PPD, purified protein de derivative antigen. In this test, 0.1 milliliter of PPD containing one tuberculin unit is injected intradermally into the flexor surface of the forearm. You will get the res you will get the result after 48. To 72 hours. At the site of inoculation, an interation surrounded by the erythema is produced. If the width of interation is greater than or equal to 10 mm, it is positive or tuberculin reactose. If the width of interation is between 6 to 9 mm, it is equivocal or doubtful reaction. If the size of interation is less than 5 mm, it is negative reaction. In adults, in adults, the positive tuberculin test only indicate the present or past exposure with the tubercle bacilli but does not confirm the presence of active stage of the disease. Hence, it is only used as an epidemiological marker. 
but in case of children positive test indicate active infection and it is used as a diagnostic marker in case of children so in nadal the tuberculin test is an epidemiological marker and in children it is a diagnostic marker the tuber the tuberculin test can be false positive after 8 to 14 weeks of bcg vaccination and in case of non tuberculous mycobacteria infection false positive means that the results say you have the condition you were tested for but you really don't have the test become false negative in case of early or advanced tb miliary tb hiv patients having decreased immunity false negative means the results say that you don't have a condition but you really do have that condition next next let's see what is two step testing in adults the tuberculin reactivity slowly wanes with time and it may become negative after some years in such cases a repeat test one to two week after the first test exerts a booster effect and gives a strong positive reaction having width of interaction more than 20 mm 20 mm tuberculin test is also known as mantox test or mt tst or tuberculin skin test and ppd or purified protein derivative it's about the first test to detect or for the diagnosing of latent tb second method for the diagnosis of latent tb is interferon gamma release assay this uses the highly specific mycobacterium tuberculosis antigen such as cfp10 or culture filtrate protein 10 and es86 or early secreted antigenic target 6 both of these are coded for rd1 genes in contrast to tuberculin test it is an in vitro test sensitized t lymphocyte collected from the suspected individuals are exposed to es86 or cfp10 antigens which leads to the release of high levels of interferon gamma from the t lymphocyte quantiferon tb gold assay is an elisa format available commercially advantage of so interferon gamma release assay is it is highly specific and it won't give any false positive conditions it's about today's video we will be talking about the treatment of mycobacterium tuberculosis in the next video if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram for the slides of this video as well as many medical flash cards case discussions and all and the link of my instagram page is given in the description box and if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment box thank you for watching take care